Hello and welcome to the second semi-final of Mela edition. Before I proceed with the semi-final, I want to share an insane coincidence that happened. Okay, if you watched the first quarter final, you know there was a question about uh, wedding at Kana. Okay, and we talked about Louvre and how uh, uh, the original painting is there near Mona Lisa. And that painting is the wedding at Kana. Can you believe it? <laughs> I didn't know that. And then Spritika told me after the last quarter final that that is wedding at Kana, which is bought from the Louvre in Paris, which coincidentally was also a quarter final question. Oof, okay. Um, let's begin the second semi final. Uh, first and foremost, uh, uh, we have a change in the lineup. Uh, although Malika Dua did qualify for the semi final due to some scheduling issue, Malika cannot be a part of the semi final. So Supriya is here. Okay, let's begin the semi-final, uh, the second semi-final. Uh, for those of you who've been following the edition, uh, Kenny Sebastian and Devaya Bhopanna have already qualified for the final. Uh, the other two spots will be decided uh, in this semi-final. Uh, let's call the first participants. Uh, the, the Let's call the participants first. Uh, the first participant is making her debut in Quizzing with the Comedians, had a great uh, quarterfinal. Uh, she is from the quarterfinal where the uh, tie situation happened. Uh, give it up for uh, Anuya. Anuya Jakarta. Woo! Hello, hello, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, okay, we've known, we've seen in house rivalry earlier on Quizzing with the Comedians. We did see uh, the Smritika, uh, sorry, the Panigrahi sisters rivalry earlier. This is also a very, very unique uh, rivalry that's going to happen. Two people from under the same roof are part of a panel. Uh, give it up for Girish Narayandas. Giri. What's up? <laughs> I will hear wow. your laughter first uh, from the other room and then hear it on the laptop. <laughs> Isn't that, I think, and it's your dream, babe. <laughs> what you've always wanted. <laughs> Okay, with that, we go to someone. Uh, okay, I don't want to create any pressure on him this time, so I'll just call him uh, Rohan Joshi. <laughs> Thank you. Much, you much mean? appreciated. Much, Thank much you. appreciated. Thank Enter you. Enter on us, you mean, not no, you. No, no, no. It's yeah. fine only. Please, Rohan. Okay, uh, yeah, and the final contestant is, of course, someone who we talked about earlier, uh, Supriya Joshi. Thank you. Oh my Thank God. <laughs> Sorry for disturbing your vacation. That's Supriya. okay. That's okay. I'm, uh, today I'm Kumar Lagoon. So, uh, having a good time. <laughs> Bye, <Lagoon. laughs> Oh man, hilarious. Okay. Already... First question of the second semi final uh, is a direct to Anuya. It was designed by NG Pansare, a well known sculptor from Mumbai, and Professor Walter Langhammer, head of art department at the Times of India. Initially, it was known as Claire after Claire Mendonka, one of the earliest film journalists in India. What is being talked about here? The Filmfare Trophy. It is the Filmfare Trophy. 10 points there for Anuya. Great start to the quiz. It is the Filmfare Award, the Filmfare Trophy. Yeah. Okay, next question is to um, Girish. Yeah. The book contains four stories. The Legend of Lakshmi Prashad, Salam Noni Appa, If the Weather Permits, and The Sanitary Man of Sacred Land. Out of the four, the last one, which is The Sanitary Man of Sacred Land, is based on a person responsible for a 2018 Hindi comedy drama film as well. A uh, fairly direct question. Who is the author of this book that you see on your screen? The Legend of Lakshmi Prasha. Mm. I wish there were ways in which husband and wife could read each other's minds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. The film being referred to is the Padman Award. Have it revealed. Okay. Supriya, what are you doing? <laughs> Narcos theme song. I have no clue about this. Giri passes, we go to Rohan. Is this Twinkle Khanna? It is Twinkle yeah. Khanna. It was indeed Padman that Giri was going to. Uh, you got it a is, hard uh, one. You got a hard one first. 
Yeah, it is Twinkle Khanna. Twinkle Khanna is the author of The Legend of Lakshmi Prasad. 10 points there to Rohan. And we go to Supriya now. Supriya, mm -hmm. we are talking about a song, okay? A song title, an iconic song from 1991. Okay, The title of the song was inspired by Bikini Kill vocalist Kath Kathleen Hanna, who was a friend of X. So X is the uh, guy behind the song. A friend of X, she sprayed a certain phrase on his wall. Okay, She sprayed the phrase dash, 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 dash. She was referring to the deodorant dash, dash. Okay, So it's a deodorant brand that she was referring to. However, X didn't know about this brand and thought the phrase was a great anti-establishment rally cry. Okay, So inspired by what was written on the wall as a graffiti, uh, mm -hmm. came the title of a certain mm -hmm. song from 1991. Which song are we talking about? So it's a five-word uh, song uh, title. A four. Uh, the title of the song is four words. The graffiti was five words. Oh, okay, okay. Hmm. Is it uh, "Rise Against the Machine"? Uh, no, going to Anuya. Oh, um, smells like Teen Spirit. It is smells yes. like Teen Spirit. Okay, Teen Spirit was a deodorant brand and she wrote on the wall saying Kurt smells like Teen Spirit. So they were referring to literally the smell that uh, Kurt Cobain effused and uh, the, uh, he thought it's, uh, it's a nice war, war cry and he wrote smells like Teen Spirit. 10 points there to Anuya and I go to Giri again. So Giri, the Glenic Bridge is a bridge across the Havel River in Germany. During the Cold War, as this portion of the Havel Bridge, sorry, Havel River, formed the border between West Berlin and East Germany. The bridge was used several times for exchanges of X and thus became known as dash dash dash. So we are looking at a three word answer. Tell me what was uh, this bridge famously known as? I'm just going, going to go for a dumb guess. I have no clue. So my dumb guess would be the letter bridge. Not the letter bridge. Going to Rohan. See, everybody knows that the answer is best sunrise point. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, based on the movie, uh, The Bridge of Spies. Yes, that is correct. Oh, oh, bridge of Rohan. Spies. Exchanges of Spies and thus became known as The Bridge of Spies. Okay. Oh. Rohan gets it right. It is The Bridge of Spies. Next direct will be to Supriya. Supriya, X is probably the most quotable movie of all time. And that, that's not just an arbitrary distinction. The AFI's 100 Years, 100 Movie Code series, assembled in 2005 and based on the opinions of 1,500 filmmakers, critics, and historians, includes six quotes from this movie, by far more than any other movie. Let's look at the six quotes that make it to the best 100 quotes of all time. On rank five is, here's looking at you, kid. On rank 20, Louis, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Rank 28, play it, Sam, play as time goes by. On number 32, round up the usual suspects. Number 43, we'll always have Paris. And one of my personal favorite quotes, of all the gin joints in all the towns, in all the world, she walks into mine. Okay, which movie are we talking about? Hey, guess what? I know which movie this is, but I don't know I... the name of the movie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh damn. Uh... I know, I know all the dialogues. I know um, the actor is my dad's favorite actor. And guess what? I forgot his name. This <laughs> uh, okay. Let me uh, use my brain a little. Come on, mm -hmm. you brain's not on vacation. I am. Think. Mm -hmm. I can see the poster in my head. I got, you know what? I hate myself. So I am just going to say pass. Okay. Passing to Anuya. Obviously, Andaz Apna Apna. So, <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. um, it's one of my favorite movies Casablanca. It is Casablanca. 10 points there to Anuya. Casablanca. Uh, yes, it is Casablanca. Humphrey, Humphrey Bogart is the person <laughs> Supriya was uh, uh, so thinking of. As, yeah. I don't, I'm just. Here's looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 10 points there for Anui. And we come back to Giri. 
Harish Bimani is a writer, anchor, voiceover artist. He is a recipient of the coveted President's Medal in the National Film Awards 2016. A veteran of some 22,000 recordings, he has created with several iconic recordings, and is considered the most recognizable spoken voice in the country since 1980s. However, he became a household name back in the period 1988 to 1990. What was his claim to fame? Ah, uh, yeah, most cool. recognizable voice in the country. Uh, is this the guy who did Bina ka Geet Mala? No, not Amin Shani. Going to Rohan. Oh shit! Yeah, that was Amit. Um, was he? I mean, I am I who? Yes, that is correct. Ten wow. points there to Rohan. It <laughs> is uh, awesome. the voice of Samay in uh, in Mahabharata. Voice of Samay in Mahabharata. I am Samay who? One of the most uh, legendary voice of. And this is the voice of Samay in chess. Aye, dosto, khelte hai chess. Okay, Rohan got ten uh, points for uh, voice of Samay in Mahabharata. Next direct will be to Supriya. Supriya, so, during production on Disney's 1967 animated adaptation of this book, okay, filmmakers came up with a rather ingenious cameo suited to one of the world's most famous group of people at that time. Except those plans appear not to have come to fruition, due either to clashing schedules or, or as rumors have it, one of the members' own refusal to partake in the gag. Supposedly, he vetoed the appearance and suggested that Disney would be better off hiring Elvis Presley instead. The final film instead features Jay Pat O'Malley, Digby Wolves, Lord Tim Hudson, and Chad Stewart, with a more dash influenced number reshaped into a timeless barber shop quartet. Okay. I want two things from you. One is the book slash film, the book on which the animated adaptation was being made by Disney and was made by Disney. So it's not that the movie stopped, just that this cameo did not happen. So I want the book slash film and the group whose cameo they were planning but could not happen. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Can I say it? Yes. Yeah. Can I say it? The answer is <laughs> the answer is the Beatles slash Jungle Book. Beautiful crack, full ten wow. points. Woo. Jungle Book and the Beatles are the two things Woo. that we were looking for. Beatles had uh, they had planned a Beatles cameo appearance, voicing a quartet of vultures uh, for the number. That's what friends are for in the movie Jungle Book. But apparently John Lennon rejected it and recommended them to go to Elvis Presley instead. Mm -hmm. uh, great crack by Supriya, ten well points. Done, to... Supriya gets ten points. Brain is working again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I go to Anuya now. This Anuya direct. His full name dash Armenzoon Van Ryan requires a bit of parsing. Armenzoon means that his father's name was Armen, and Van Ryan refers to where his family lived near the Rhine River. So his full name means dash son of Armen from the Rhine. For reasons that are yet unclear, he added the silent D to his signature, changing it from his original name to X. So the The modified version X has a silent D in 1633. Who are we talking about? My ex also had a silent D. Just oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I give her my points? <laughs> oh man! We won the quiz, guys. <laughs> And this is Mela. So. Mm -hmm. Hi, it's called Mela because this dude is dead. He's Mela. <laughs> oh shit! He had a silent D, so it's mm -hmm. 1933. So like a musician, maybe um, German. Uh, who can it be? I bet Rowan knows this. No one likes you, Rowan. I like this one. It's okay, I also don't like myself, so I'm still <laughs> part of the club. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Is it uh, Rembrandt? It is Rembrandt. Ten points there to Amelia. It is Rembrandt nice. with a silent D. Uh, Rembrandt. So the original name was R E M B R A N T, and then he added a silent D for reasons which we don't know yet. Uh, it it is Rembrandt. 
Okay. You know, you've asked, gets... asked a lot of questions that were related to my honeymoon with Girish, because by the mm-hmm. way, in this quiz, just crazy coincidence. But we saw okay. him in the Rice Museum. It was a huge Rembrandt piece. That's the only reason I know. Wow, ten point there to Anuya. So next direct will be to Giri. Girish, I'm talking about a certain logo of a certain mm-hmm. company. Okay. The X logo is based on the Celtic shield knot. The symbol dates back to Ireland, circa 5000 BC, where it was originally created from a continuous line. According to historians and anthropologists, this unbroken line was intended to represent eternity, fidelity, and unity. Among the ancient Celts, it was regarded as a symbol of strength and believed to bring power and protection to those who wore it. So this is basically defining the symbol. Now we talk about the company okay whose logo this is seeing the logo design makes it very apparent that it is associated with big budget films when the logo was designed the creators had been told to create something that will make customers know that this company made dark heroic pieces that would be made with state of the art special effects when the logo is animated in the introduction of a film it is always amidst the dark smog of a fire this is effectively and definitely shows how the company works on epic titles Okay, just tell me the company that we are talking about. I don't know. Is this Warner Brothers? Not Warner Brothers. Going to Rohan. Is it Syncopy? No, going to Supriya. Oh God. Okay. Mm. Say anything, then he'll give us a hint. <laughs> that should be the aim. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. Questions. Then, yeah. yeah. Don't know yeah. the answer. Play for the hint. Yeah. Play for the hint. So. <laughs> Dolby Digital. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Now I have. Uh, okay, Anuya. Oh, you're taking that as her answer. Okay. Yeah. Are you giving an answer? Yeah. No, no. no. That, she paused. I waited. Yeah. So Priya paused. So I realized. That is my. Yeah. <laughs> Anuya. Hi. Uh, I I want to say Shemaru then. No. No. Um, I don't know. Um, <laughs> film. Sorry? Lucas film. Not Lucas film. Okay, we'll take one more round starting with Giri. So, yeah, we're talking about like big budget grand movies. Okay. Uh, so, just try and because obviously we've all seen this in these movies. But So, I'm going to say a few movies and think like what comes to your mind. Uh, think of Batman Begins. Uh, think of uh, 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 Man of Steel. Think of Superman Returns. um think of dark knight think of inception uh think of uh, even hangover uh, you know uh and uh, uh godzilla think of pacific rim you know uh if all of you want i can give you other hint also apart from just movie names do all four of you want yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. okay so uh, <laughs> another hint is think of uh an adjective so the answer is an adjective Okay. <sighs> so, for instance, it can't be Warner Brothers or MGM or like Lucas Films. There's no name as such. It's a it's an adjective something. We we'll find out what the answer is and then cry or something. No. Yeah, it's a lagra. It's one of those. Yeah, this is gonna be one of those. Yeah. <laughs> Ski, we will feel very good. Oh, one second. इतनी बार देखी है डार्क नाइट यार तो सॉर्ट पेड मोर अटेंशन टू द क्रेडिट्स दैट्स व्हाट दे ऑल से ओ सो इट्स वन वर्ड वन वर्ड इज इनफ द सेकंड वर्ड इज अ जेनेरिक लाइक फिल्म्स और पिक्चर्स और productions can be anything like that. but the first word is so important the adjective is what i'm looking for pass passing to rohan um <laughs> pass passing to supriya no 
I can't even attempt that. Okay, okay. passing to Anuya. I can't even think of a joke answer. <laughs> <laughs> All brain energy went on trying to think of every film credit you ever seen, right? Uh-huh. Like every uh-huh. ever, ever. Yeah. Just yeah. like, come on, brain, like manifest this, and it's not. It's not, KV. What is it? Tell us. Tell us. Let okay. the feeling okay. of stupidity okay. begin. Okay. Closing. The answer is legendary pictures. Oh, oh my god! Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh. Oh. And, uh, oh. Because yeah. basically the oh. knot that you see is the Celtic shield knot. Oh, oh. oh. I have never registered the name. Ever. Yep. Yeah. Just yeah. The, the the but of course we've seen this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, that brings us to the end of the first half. Quick look at the scores. Anuya on the yeah, back of the fil- Filmfare Awards. Uh, and uh, smells like Teen Spirit, Casablanca, and Rembrandt is on forty right now. Uh, yeah, Giri is yet to start scoring. Uh, Rohan with uh, Twinkle Khanna, Bridge of Spice, and Voice of Sana in Mahabharata, ten each uh, is on thirty right now. And Ooh. Supriya with uh, Jungle Book plus Beatles is on ten right. Now. Okay, cool. Cool. Uh, with that, we start the second half. Uh, the order will be Supriya, Rohan, Giri, Anuya. This is Supriya's direct. We Are the Dead is one of many tracks on David Bowie's Diamond Dogs album that pays homage to a dystopian social science fiction novel. The title of the track is taken from a recurring line in the novel, which simultaneously comments on the repressed inner and outer parties, as well as the protagonist's impending imprisonment. A great deal of the songs on this album were originally intended for a theatrical production of the novel, but the author's estate denied Bowie the rights. Just tell me which novel are we talking about? Is this 1984? It is 1984. Great answer. Ten points there for Supriya. We are the dead, inner and outer parties. It is 1984. We are the dead. Our only true life is in the future. George Orwell. Ten points there to Supriya, and we now come to Rohan. Rohan, this is the shape of the letter Shin. He said in 2013 interview, making the famous gesture. The Hebrew letter Shin, he noted, is the first letter in several Hebrew words, including Shaddai, a name of God, Shalom, the word for hello, goodbye, and peace, and Shekhina, which he defined as the feminine aspect of God who supposedly was created to live among humans. He then added, Shekhina was also the name of the prayer he participated in as a boy that inspired the gesture. The prayer meant to bless the congregation is named after the feminine aspect of God, which gesture. Was he talking about? Um, is it? Uh, is it live long and prosper? Yes, it is the Vulcan salute that we are wow. talking about. Wow! It is Vulcan salute? Very good answer. Ten points there Very for nice. Rohan. Ten points. My there. other answer was this, so really, <laughs> it's perhaps for the best. <laughs> Okay. Uh, next direct will be to Giri. Uh, Rohan got welcome salute. Uh, Giri originated in the African American communities of New Orleans, Louisiana, United States, in the late 19th and early 20th century. It is believed to be related to a slang term dating back to 1860, meaning pep, energy. The earliest written record of the word is in a 1912 article in the Los Angeles Times, in which a minor league baseball pitcher described the pitch. Which he called a dash ball because it wobbles and he simply can't do anything with it. I'm looking for a one-word answer. What is this word that originated in the African American communities, New Orleans, late 19th, early 20th century? Mela quiz. A oh, pitch, as in the the delivery. <clears throat> yeah, like in baseball. Uh, not the, like cricket pitch. Not the not the surface, the delivery. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it a curve ball? Not curve. Going to Anuya. I okay. Is it is it flubber? No, going to Supriya. Hit goof ball. No, uh, going to Rohan. <laughs> is it jazz? 
It is jazz. Male of yes. African American oh, community, twentieth century, it. Louisiana. Oh. It is jazz. Okay, oh. jazz. The oh. word jazz originated oh. like this. It is jazz and origin in a slang from there. Uh, and he described it as a jazz ball. Okay. That one is jazz too smart, huh? Jazz, <laughs> eh? Jazz, jazz, enjoy. Jazz, jazz, enjoy. jazz enjoy. I am. I am. Jazz, I am. enjoy. <laughs> So one That's gets ten buddy. points for jazz. So next direct will be to uh, to Giri. Even excess doodles captured the amazement and attention of the public. In nineteen ninety four, in fact, one of the artist notebooks went up for auction at Christie's. Okay, titled the Codex Lester, or sometimes called Hammer. It was compiled circa fifteen o six to fifteen ten. While X, the guy we are talking about. Was in both Florence and Milan, and it contains musings on everything from the origins of fossils to why the sky appears blue. Another casual note predicts the invention of the submarine. Okay, in that 1994 auction, Bill Gates was the winning bidder. He paid 30.8 million US dollars for the 72-page collection. Okay, there's a visual also on your screen from from that collection. Just tell me who is this guy? And who was called back? Like, I was like. Do you know the answer? Do you just like have a lot of energy? <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm just doing this. I just keep the. Yeah. <laughs> It's very uncomfortable because then I have to lean back and just <laughs> just. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, babes. <laughs> Something to do. Uh, this is Da Vinci. It is Da Vinci. Ten points there for Giri. We are talking about Leonardo Da Vinci. Finally, it is Da Vinci. Uh, Giri gets his first points. Uh, Leonardo Da Vinci is correct. Okay, with that we go to Anuya. This is Anuya Giri. I merit the title of the book because it always felt very strange to be asked to give up my name. I was always uncomfortable about it, and I thought it might help dramatize for the reader the deep strangeness and discomfort of those years. Said the novelist, while in hiding from death threats, he got for his other novel. The name that was used came from Salman the combination. Rajdi. Sorry. Salman Rushdie. Yeah, which book is this? Oof. <laughs> the name that was used came from the combination of the first yeah. names of two writers he loved. One was a 19th century British novelist, and the other was a Russian playwright and short story writer. Which book is this? So Charles something. Right, Charles. Oh my God, I know this, but I'm not going to remember it now. No, it's something else. It's some A something. Shit, nineteenth century British novels. Um, Anton. It's an Anton something. Oh, I can't. I can't. I don't remember the the other name. Us. Okay, so your answer so far is Salman Rushdie and Anton something. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll we'll hold that thought. We'll go to Supriya. Uh, most Russian <laughs> sounding name, Putin. Anton Putin. No. Uh, <laughs> Stop trying to make your boyfriend jokes, <laughs> Supriya. I mean, <laughs> how can I? Uh. I don't know. I'm gonna guess uh, Anton Chekhovsky. Okay, going to Rohan. Joseph Anton. Joseph Anton is the answer I was looking uh -huh. for. Joseph Anton, a memoir by Salman Rushdie. Uh, I wanted the book name, so can't give much on Rushdie, and but Anton is one half of the answer. Of course, the name is inspired from Joseph Conrad and mm -hmm. Anton Chekhov. uh but uh, yeah so both of the points will go to uh, rohan but anuya will also get part points uh, so i'm giving four to anuya and six to rohan okay rohan gets six for the right answer which is joseph anton and anuya gets four for getting through rashti and anton okay which means the next direct will come to giri uh okay giri this is your direct mm -hmm. uh, on the right on your screen you see uh, a photo of someone called joe calderon okay Joe Calderon is created as a mischievous experiment. Experiment, okay. Who exactly is Joe Calderon? There's a visual question. Look at the photo and uh, let me know anything more that you can add to this. Who exactly is Joe Calderon? 
And you mean who exactly is Joe? As in who is the person we are seeing here? What's his real name? Uh, yeah, in some sense, yes. Who is the person? Yes, his real name. I like mischievous experiment. Yeah. <laughs> Not cut. Ah, <laughs> uh, no pass. Going to Anuya. Yo. Uh, I don't know. Is it is it Gaga? It is Lady Gaga. Ten points there to Anuya. It oh, is Lady Gaga. I knew it. Gaga is it? Joe Calderon. It's a male alter ego of Lady Gaga. This is a uh, Lady Gaga. Chehra dekhe. Yeah, yeah. And Anuya gets ten points. It is Lady Gaga. With that, we go to Supriya. So please your direct identical twins Roselle New Jersey 1967 is a noted photograph by photographer Dan Arbus in popular culture this photo has inspired many other arts there is also a rumor that the person who probably took the most notable inspiration from this photo studied under Arbu Arbus during his days as a shutterbug for Look magazine in the 1940s few decades later it is said to have echoed in his work What most likely inspiration is being discussed here? Like, why? What, what has been inspired from this photo that you? This is uh, hmm. the twins from The Shining. Great crap! Yeah. It is the twin from The Shining. Superb answer. It is The Shining. Stanley Kubrick was the student, and uh, it is the twin from The Shining. Cool. The last correct answer was The Shining twins from uh, Supriya. This direct will be to Rohan. Rohan, it's a rare genetic condition that results in a child's body aging rapidly. A mutation in the LMNA gene causes progeria. Most kids with progeria don't live past age thirteen. The disease affects people of all sexes and races equally. About one in every four million babies are born with it worldwide. What is a more common name given to this syndrome? Uh, Benjamin Button syndrome. It is Benjamin Button syndrome. Wow. Ten points. To uh, ten points to Rohan, it is Benjamin Button syndrome. We could have used Amitabh Bachchan. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, going to Girish now. Girish, I'm talking about a particular sound. Okay, it was created by Todd Yellin. His goal was to create a sonic brand, and initially wanted a goat sound, sort of based from MGM's Lion. Lon Bender, the sound designer, compiled various sounds. They interviewed thousands of people, asking them what words came upon hearing each sound clip. Most of these, most of them, like uh, most of the people among these thousands of people, associated this particular sound with movie. The sound is a combination of several things: Lon Bender's wedding ring hitting the side of a bedroom cabinet, a slowed anvil sound with muted hits, and a guitar sound in reverse. Okay, what sound are we all talking about? <laughs> so this is—is is it like uh, <clears throat> it's it's a it's a sound that appears during uh, during the logo, like it's a sonic branding for a logo, a certain mm -hmm. logo. Might be. Okay. So you want the name of. Uh, where the sound appears, as in the name of yeah, the company yeah. or the logo where the sound appears. Yeah, yeah, that that will be enough. Where have we heard this sound, basically? Can okay, I can't figure the name of the company, but is this the sound of like the film reel, the film reel changing or switching of the film reel? Ah uh, mm -hmm. no, going to Anuya. Is it, is it the Disney branding sound? Not the Disney sound. Sorry, going to Supriya. Is it Universal Studios? Not Universal Studios. Going to Rohan. Um. Is it the uh, this thing? Um. Like Iron Man's repulsor blast? No, no. Uh, okay, we'll take one more round. Uh, we'll start with Kiri. Hmm. Um, so the uh, 
the hint i want to give is uh, of course you're all right that this is a um, okay no okay let's start off fresh uh, we've all heard the sound in fact some of us might be hearing the sound every day okay we've all heard the sound uh, bef- when a certain logo appears before you start watching something okay so don't think of within something like don't think of uh, say iron man for example uh, uh, okay the other hint i would like to give is uh, it was a uh, something that start mm, in ah <laughs> uh, okay mm, think internet okay so don't think uh, uh, universal etc think internet more than uh oh, okay old production so houses. netflix yeah. sound it is the netflix tadam sound oh. okay. it is the netflix tadam sound the iconic uh, oh. thing that comes before every oh. netflix oh. thing that we have ever seen is the netflix oh. is iconic tadam that sound that's, that's why they can yeah. we please take a moment to appreciate that someone called todd yellen and <laughs> 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 i love it when that shit happens <laughs> Like yeah. there was one time Mark Webb was directing the Spider-Man films, and I was yeah, like, just like, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. uh, Tony, to- some some guy called some Tony, I think Hertz is one of the most awarded radio advertising personality. Oh wow, that's amazing! Yeah. Wow, he could have also yeah. been a doctor, huh? This thing. <laughs> so yeah, the sound came from um, you know his wedding ring hitting the side of a bedroom cabinet, and that's also a reference in their first. first successful thing that netflix ever created which is house of cards and that's where francis mm-hmm. underwood does yeah, yeah. a wedding ring thing on the table mm-hmm. so yeah also something nice okay giri gets 5 points on this and we go to anuya writer paul dini based it on a roller skating jester from a dream sequence in the soap opera days of our lives which was played by his college friend arlene sorkin we okay, nothing to do with arlene sorkin dini then incorporated aspects of sorkin's personality into the character and got sorkin to voice her in recording the voice sorkin spoke in her normal brooklyn accent while putting in a little yiddish sound since dini made the character jewish the character was also inspired by a mutual female friends stormy but non violent relationship as some sources would suggest which character are we talking about obviously a female character uh, just tell me the character wow Is it Harley Quinn? It is Harley Quinn. Ten wow. points there to Anuya. Wow! It is Harley Quinn. It is Harley Quinn. It is Harley Quinn. Brooklyn accent with a little Yiddish. Yeah. And uh, has a stormy but non-violent relationship with uh, Joker. Some people might say. Okay, Harley Quinn. Anuya gets ten points there, and that brings us to the end of the quiz. Anuya was on forty after the first half. She got. Uh, Lady Gaga ten points. She got four points for uh, Salman Rushdie and Anton. Uh, she also got ten points for Harley Quinn. So she gets twenty four in the second half, and Anuya ends on sixty four. Giri uh, uh, had five for the Netflix Tadam sound, and he got ten for uh, for 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 uh, Leonardo da Vinci. So fifteen. So Giri ends the quiz on fifteen points. and we go to rohan had 30 after the first half he got vulcan salute he got jazz uh six points for joseph anton and then again a 10 pointer for benjamin button syndrome so 36 in the second half rohan uh wins by a very small margin actually uh rohan wins the quiz with 66 total points so he won by two points i won by two points yes yeah and, uh, rohan in your face yeah. <laughs> And so Priya had ten Party. in the first half, uh, and she scored double uh, of those points in the second half. Uh, she got Shining Twins, ten uh, points there, and she also got nineteen eighty four, so twenty there. And so Priya ends on thirty points. Woo! Okay, with that we come to the uh, come to the final uh, announcement of the finalists: Anuya Jakadar and uh, Rohan Joshi qualified for the final. Uh, and the finalists are Devaya Bopanna, Kenny Sebastian, Rohan Joshi, and Anuya Jakadar. Woo! Woo! Um, 
thank you once again to Girish and Supriya. Thank always, you. Thank always. You, thank you, KV. And all the best to Anuya and Rohan. I'll see you guys Ooh. in the finale. Yes. Bye bye. bye.